get ready and five four three two one round one four the no fate channel checking in on this episode of dad's home gym i want to know from you how do you make cardio fun i know cardio ooh it's a dirty word most people act like it doesn't exist and i'm always curious how you are getting your cardio in without getting bored to tears and that brings us to the topic of today's video and that is egg weights what are egg weights they are ultra heavy ultra condensed pieces of metal that have a rubber loop allowing you to slide it over your finger and then shadow box with it. You can also do cardio, you can also do stairs and running with them and it makes the activity much, much harder. It helps improve punching speed, punching power, but most importantly, it just makes it so much harder. I know many of you, most of you, all of you are not going to be the next MMA heavyweight like Francis Ngannou. You're not looking to have crazy hand speed like Triple G. You're just looking to get your cardio in without going criminally insane because you are bored to tears. And not to worry, I'm reviewing these egg weights from my perspective, which is someone who's a home gym owner that's trying to just get a nice varied workout in, not looking to get bored on the treadmill or on the spin bike. And frankly, I couldn't fight my way out of a wet paper bag. And that's what this review is all about for the average home gym user. Is this going to be something that's going to be worth your money that you're going to put to use? And most importantly, you're going to have fun using. Let's get into it. The premise of egg weights is that they are used for shadow boxing. They are extremely heavy but condensed metal that is then wrapped in, you know, this plastic coating and it has a finger loop allowing you to slide it over your finger and easily and effortlessly hold it in your hand while you shadow box. They have a few different versions and we're going to go through it. So in terms of the naming of their products, this is considered a one pound bundle, which means that each one of these is one half pound. This is their two pound bundle. Each one is one pound. This is their three pound bundle. Each one is 1.5 pounds, etc. It goes all the way up to, I think, five or even six pounds for a bundle. Um, as you can imagine how massively heavy that is for one of these for, for like three pounds in one hand it gets heavy quite quickly um, they also have these running versions and what this allows you to do it's got a little place for your thumb you slide it over your finger like you would these egg weights and then you can put your thumb here so you've got a natural running position whether you're doing stairs whether you're doing sprints or whether you're just trying to add extra resistance and weight to a long jog as far as how these work same exact idea. You take them, slide them over your thumb like so, and you grip it and you rip it. As far as this, this is a snug. Now I've got probably medium sized hands for my height, which is 6'1", but this fits fairly snug on me. I think the only people that would have significant problems are like massive, massive heavyweights. But I've seen people even as big as Francis Ngarno, who's an MMA heavyweight. Uh, he's like 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 and just a massive beast of a human being. Uh, he's able to slip these over his fingers, no problem. So I don't think that's going to be a massive issue. Once it's on, the material is like non-slip. It does not really want to come off. And as you can see, you can make a fist during boxing, but you can also be open-handed if you wanted to do other maneuvers um, while you're shadow boxing and other activities. As far as the pricing, that's where we get into the meat and potatoes of today's video. And that's where the difficult part is. As you can imagine, these are very heavy and shipping and postage has only gone up in today's 2022 world. So when you buy only one item, when you buy only one set of pairs, you end up having to pay, I think about $10 shipping and handling. And that's a fortune because one pair is like $30 then you're tacking on $10 extra, you're $40 in for just one pair. I got this entire bundle, I'll put it on the screen, I think for just over $100, I got all four of these. And again, that was a Black Friday special deal, but I do know they offer bundles every day of the week that allow you to capitalize on buying more than one item 
allowing you to save money. And if you can get over their free shipping threshold, you're going to save $10 on top of that. Now, I did set up my own personal code, NoFate247. I'll put a link in the description. That gives you the maximum discount. So if you're looking to save money, that's a great code to use. But I think the best way to save money is definitely to buy the biggest set you think you're going to want and then use that code, clearing that free shipping um, to make sure that you don't have to get hit with that free shipping. As far as this cute traveling bag, this used to, when I was first looking at these two years ago, this used to just be included with every set. And I think they're trying to save money. Times are tough. So I think the only way you can get this is if you buy it for $5 or if you buy it as part of a bundle. Many of their bundles come with this carrying case included. Do I think the carrying case is necessary? Not at all. Many of us have extra small bags lying around. If you get it for free, it's absolutely nice, but I certainly wouldn't pay extra for this bag. Overall, these have been so much fun to use. If I did travel, and I don't really travel much, but if I did travel and had to do hotel workouts or workouts on the road in places that I didn't know what kind of equipment they were gonna have, these would be great because you could just grab one pair take it with you and you are going to be good for that workout while you're on the road. I'm telling you, these things are so much fun to work out with just because they add a whole different level of versatility. Even the same workout between these different weights varies completely. And then once you take them off your hand, you will notice, at least I have personally, that your hand speed is improved slightly and what you feel like is your power has improved slightly. Overall, the intentions of these, when, when, when boxers have weights in their hand, it's obviously to make the workout itself harder, but also to keep their hands up and put a lot of fatigue and stress on their shoulders and hands because the worst thing you can do when you're boxing is to drop your hands. And most people, after about 30 seconds, drop their hands because they're so exhausted. It's so small, it's so simple of an idea, but it is so fun of an experience and it's a great way to just make cardio that much better. Of all of these that I bought, get rid of one of these pairs. I would definitely get rid of the running pair. I do run. I just don't think these are good for long periods of time. And if need be, I could just simply slip in this half pound pair or this, uh, excuse me, this one pound pair or this two pound pair in my hands, right? Very, very similar. These are actually the same exact weight, just different dimensions. So very similar, similar. This is going to be a bit more of a natural running position uh, for you runners out there because you tend to put your thumb over the top of your index finger. Uh, and this is going to be very, very similar. But again, same weight, just slightly different. This is a bit wider in diameter. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union where I give you my final thoughts after using these egg weights for the last three weeks. First and foremost, they're amazing. They are fun to use. They certainly make exercising a lot more difficult, whether you're shadow boxing, whether you are on the elliptical and you're just got them in your hands and you're even just doing some fake shadow boxing on the elliptical, or if you're doing stairs or you're on the road and doing road work with these things in your hand. They make all of the exercises much more difficult. As far as boxing goes for you boxing enthusiasts, will it give you more punching power? Uh, the truth is, Maybe, but not likely. Is it gonna give you more hand speed? The truth is yes, but only slightly. The main purpose of putting weights in your hand while you shadow box on top of making it much more difficult is to make sure that you keep your hands up and to kind of give your body, get your body tired easily. Typically in boxing, people's hands come down after like 30 seconds because they're so tired. And this, that weight in the hand causes you to train away from that, that fatigue so that when the weight's not in your hand, your arms don't come down as easily. You don't get as fat fatigued as quickly. These things will last you an absolute lifetime. So once you do buy them, rest assured, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're not gonna rust out. They're not gonna go bad. The only potential thing that could go bad is this rubber finger loop over tons of exceptional use. You might stretch it out. You might tear it over a lot of use, but you can buy a replacement for $5. So that's not really a big concern either. As far as the purchase price, which is I listed previously in the video, I will tell you that when you buy one of these, it actually really hurts because you pay a lot of money for one and then you've got to hit, they hit you on the shipping. The reality is if you're going to buy these, you really should be making sure to buy at least 
two pairs at once because the more you buy in terms of bundling the lower the price point is and then once you clear that free shipping you're saving yourself easily just 10 bucks right there out the gate if you're only going to buy one pair i would say get the one pound pair so this that, that one pound pair is really the two pound pair it's one pound in each hand i found that to be a really good weight it doesn't it, it feels heavy initially but you kind of get used to it um if you're going to buy yourself two pairs i would get yourself the one pound pair and then the one and a half pound pair again because it's heavy but it's not so heavy that it is bulky as far as the running version that comes with it this is nice if you do plan to do like sprints or stairs then i would absolutely consider getting this in your bundle as part of a bundle but i would say if you're going to go long distance this just isn't something you're going to want to hold in your hand for a long period of time and overall you can get away with not buying these if you buy these because they serve a very similar purpose and they feel very similar in your hand the the small little mini ones that i have here i have liked but they are very very light so just know that if you're going to get these you might feel like you wish you went a little bit heavier because you're going to get used to them so quickly now as far as can you just use lightweight dumbbells instead of having these instead of making an extra purchase yes you can however most dumbbells start off at minimum at two pounds a piece and sometimes you can find like a three pound pair as well but they're bulky they're not really going to be as fun holding them in your hand whether you're running stairs cardio or even shadow boxing this gives you a much more natural feel when you're shadow boxing you don't really feel like you have anything in your hand you feel like you've got a closed fist and you are shadow boxing you don't have that awkward dumbbell sticking out which is just more of a nuisance and a pain and you can you can still get these on your fingers um and while you're shadow boxing and you can have your hands up like you're going to parry uh, a, a shot or you can just move it around whereas a dumbbell if you do that the dumbbells are going to fall overall i'm a big fan glad i got these on a crazy good deal they still have very good deals with regards to their bundles i'm going to link it in the description i set up my own code no fate 24 7 just for the heck of it so if you want to use that code you will support the channel if you can find a better code use the best code possible but from the looks of it mine seem to match the best codes that are out there big fan of these egg weights especially because they're going to last me a lifetime and anything that gives you a bit of variety in your home gym even when it comes to something as horrible as nasty as cardio is something that you really should look into most people when it comes to a home gym get bored because they don't have a lot of variety and they just get they're doing the same thing monotonously over and over again whereas something like this you can throw it into a, a shadow boxing routine even if you're not a boxer per se and you're gonna be sweating out calories like crazy big fan of shadow boxing you can do it in a small space and it kills calories and you don't have to be good at it it's just something to move around move your feet move your upper body move your head move your hands next thing you know time passed quickly and you are just whoosh, sweating like you wouldn't believe hopefully you came this far in the video and hopefully you found it informative if you're listening to my words right now then you and i are officially best friends do me a favor check out the links in the description they do support the channel and they do keep the lights on as usual you came this far in the video give it a like hit that subscribe button and don't save anything for the trip back right straight left hook right straight left hook two two 30 seconds three hooks three hooks Four under two, four under three, two, left hook right straight.